go down, man. So called white man. Oh. Time for you to go down, man. Right on. Your, 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 your people ready to serve. They are ready to celebrate Thanksgiving, man. Which is thanks stealing, man. Uncut. You gonna celebrate this damn double Christmas Columbus for that? You can thank them for that, man. And I'm talking to your Negroes and Hispanics and Native American Indians, man. I can see your people ready to get that damn cranberry ready. Thanks, uh, 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 um, turkey. Feed the turkey and all this damn nonsense, man. These niggas are simple as hell, man. Yeah, that's right. Niggas are simple as hell, man. You ready to go over to your friend's house, grandmama's house, and eat Thanksgiving? Stuff turkey? Huh? Yeah, man. That's why you people gonna be fucking destroyed, man. Right, because this is not the holiday to be worshiping, man. The Most High gave us holy days to worship, man. Not no damn, not no damn thing stealing, man. And after that, what? Black Friday after that? And you niggas gonna go retarded when you go that Black Friday? Ooh, John, I gotta go get the new PlayStation. Oh, I gotta get that new microwave. And you niggas fucked out as hell, man. Fucked out as hell. Brother said that Thanksgiving is wicked, man. That's a wicked, evil holiday that the white man set up. And you got a lot of niggas following that. And Hispanics, you should know better. Because they celebrating your downfall. That's what that damn wicked ass holiday is about. Alright? If you don't know what you're bringing up, well, give me Amos. Give me Amos real quick. Okay, the most I ain't dealing with that wickedness, man. Why don't you ask the Native American, are they having a happy Thanksgiving? Alright? Give me uh, uh, Amos chapter 5 verse 21. The book of Amos chapter 5 verse 21. Amos chapter 5 verse 21. Read that. I hate, I despise your feast days. The most I said he hates and despises our people's feast days. All right, Hollow Halloween, Thanks stealing, Christmas, some damn fat white dude flying through the damn sky, man, or bunny rabbits laying eggs. That's foolishness. But that's what they're calling America. But they're gonna call us a cult. You know what I'm saying? And the word, but they believe. <laughs> they don't know what the word cult means. This thing word cult consists of the money to work, man. But you follow it on cultic holidays, man. Because when you go into the origin of holidays, it's wicked as hell. Okay? But you know what? That's the spirit of Babylon. That's the spirit of America. Foolishness is folly, man. And you won't see nothing but folly come like Friday. I'm telling you, man. Every year you have at least one death. Somebody can stand me. People fighting cops. People fighting cops for a damn TV. Oh, I remember when the PlayStation 3 first came out, it was crazy. He was literally trying to fight cops to get a damn PS3. So, you could imagine, you could imagine when a family comes to this land. I can, I can just picture it right now. I the most I go get these people, alright? Same people that's doing that foolishness, they're the same ones that's gonna get caught in this family. But give me, um, 2 Timothy, chapter 3. Verse 4, and then we're going to go into Thanksgiving. You know, we got to go into that. We'll be right if we ain't going into that. You know we got to honor our brother, the Native American Indians, the Gadites. Hey. Because we're standing on their bones right now. And people know that holiday is wicked, but they still celebrate it. And they're going to talk about you guys preach hate. Don't you know when you celebrate that, you're in a spirit of hate, man? Huh?
and they doing it today. It's the same people like right. Sanchez and stuff. All right? The same Greeks and Romans is just ruling today. They just go by a different name all around. Oh, 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 my God. this devil Christopher Columbus. See, they got this guy exalted like he would come national here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me see if you that in a matter of a few hundred years, it has managed to rewrite its own history. That's what they wanted to take um, slavery out of the textbooks in Texas. They say they wanted to extract that out. Because the white man is always trying to make himself look good. But you ain't going to do it for the profits out here, man. Anyway, let me continue this. It says, um, and they have rewritten their own history. They, teach, they all came and he broke bread with the Indians. Why the hell you went from breaking bread in their land and they're being a reservation. They never go into that part. Anyway, we're gonna keep reading. It says um the concepts of liberty, freedom, and free enterprise in the land of the free, home of the brave, are a mere spin. America was founded and became prosperous based on two original sins. First the murder of the Native American Indians and the theft of their land by European colonists, then subsequently slavery. And who did that happen to? The children of Israel. That's the main reason why America won't go down with fire. Because the way it was built of rape, rob, and murder. Thanksgiving is a celebration of that. But anyway, keep, keep reading. It says, um, this grim reality is far removed from the fairy tale version of a nation that views itself in its collective consciousness as virtuous, universal agent for good and progress. Give me a break. The most recent version of mythology was expressed by Ronald Reagan. Anyway, I'm going to jump straight to the point. It says, in rewriting his own history about Thanksgiving, white America, let me stress that again. It says, white America 
tells a Disney-like fairy tale story about the English pilgrims and their struggle to survive a new and harsh environment. The pilgrims found help from the friendly Native American tribe, um, Wampanoag Indians in 1621. But unfortunately for Native Americans, the thankfulness of European settlers was very short-lived. That's why you can never trust your enemy. The Bible tells you that. You can never trust the white man, man. The scripture says to never trust thy enemies. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. The scripture goes to eat for himself and eat of him. Many times a white man goes and said, we all spread democracy. We all spread Christianity. He's coming to steal your resources. See that? The Gadites, they got deceived by that. But guess what the Most High was with? About the time of our downfall, man. See, that was the time of us falling away. But guess what? Not a multi had mercy. Not a prophet is back on the scene, man. Back in Babylon, man. And condemning his society for his wickedness. Alright? Let me continue on. It says, uh, But unfortunately, uh, by 1637, Massachusetts Governor John Winthrop ordered the mask of thousands of big white Indian men, women, children. This event marked the start of the Native American genocide which would take a bit more than 200 years to complete. And of course, its ultimate goal, which was to take the land from the Native Americans and to systematically plunder their resources. It says, uh, uh, oh, the genocide started in 1637. The entire continent, until Native Americans had either been exterminated for most, assimilated into white society for very few, or put on reservations. But the reservation is no different than the ghetto, right? This is another, this is another fancy term they try to put out there. What is this? All right? It says, um, they left millions of people dead across the world in course of American history and are still fought for the same reasons behind Native American genocide. It says, uh, uh, I'm going to get to the point. get to the point where you said uh they said um at the end he says um i'm afraid to bring this to a conclusion yeah that you know what you just said so wicked thanksgiving day parade man and we just went into the history on that man so you see the white man ain't sympathetic or nothing but that's why he gonna go down with fire man and boy, we can't wait. And you always got the nigger woman. Always the nigger woman. That's what the most I gonna destroy you, man. The yeah, day you come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The greatest defend of the white man is a bald head nigger woman, man. All right. Let me um. Let always the nigger woman. Always, always defending their master. Always defending always your defend master, your master, master, man. All right. Let's give me that scripture, Micah seven and ten. Ooh, gosh. You come up here today, you're going to get rebuked through the spirit of the Most High, man. We ain't playing with you niggas, man. Give me that scripture, Micah 7 and 10. We not defending no wickedness up here, man. All that shit is wicked. And it's going to get cast out through the spirit. In Micah 7 and 10, talking about you stupid. There's always a woman, man. You see that? But we ain't holding our tongue no more. Get that real quick. Look at Micah, get the seven for that. Read that. Then she said, then she that is my enemy. And she is our enemy. That woman that just walked past is our enemy, man. And she's Jake. She's our enemy. She's supposed to say, yeah, right on. You know what I'm saying? Right on, brothers. Because she knows she probably bought the biggest turkey, mm -hmm. the most sloppiest cranberry sauce, <laughs> along with some damn pork. And she's going to have a good time. But she she going to get judged for it. I remember you had another woman who, who came and talked shit to us. And then I, I caught up. She was by the elders. I was like, oh shit, brother, you know that's the same woman. Woman, oh, with the white man. Yeah. Oh, and she went down there, boy, and the elders sealed her ass up. Yeah, man. See that? That's what you get for trying to um, speak out against the men of the most high. You're going to get dealt with, man. But anyway, read on. So, then she said, if my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her whips, say unto me, where is the Lord thy power? My enemy shall be her. Yeah, she gonna get trodden down. And I'm telling you, through the spirit, man. I'm telling you, brothers. Tell you about how your brothers who fell out. You foolish. You foolish, man. You foolish, man. 
because when all hell breaks loose and we get that glory, because it's not just going to start in the kingdom, it's going to start from on this side right here. First of all, the kingdom is being built right now. People going to know who the men of the most high is before the missiles drop. You best to believe that. And guess who's going to be the number one group of these women? They're going to try to click like they were always down. <laughs> And that's when that, that scripture is going to be fulfilled. They're going to get trotted down. Because they're a bunch of hypocrites. See? They're a bunch of hypocrites. But anyway, give me um, Revelation 18.21. You know Babylon going to go down, man. Yeah, you still... Always that nigga woman, man. Always, always. The nigga woman, the nigga woman, and the nigga woman. The book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 21. And mighty angels took up a stone. Which is that what? That missile. Okay, that's the great stone it's talking about. Read on. Like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, The sea is the people. Read on. Find it shall be that great city Babylon be thrown down. That's great city Babylon is America, man. And it's going to get thrown down with these missiles. Fire. It said thus with violence that that great city Babylon be thrown down. Because it's the same way it was built. It was founded off murder. Like they said in an article. And then wherever they had, if you take it even further, wherever they had, they took down the Native American Indians. They had a celebration about it. Until, uh, what's his full name? Lincoln. He cons consolidated it for that one day. It was just a sad on that one day. When you go back to the history, every time they took down a tribe, they had a feast like that, man. So that's, you know, it's a beautiful thing, though, because of the kingdom. The white man don't know where hate is. What, what, we, what he did to us in slavery is going to look like child's place in the kingdom, man. The scripture says, here, read verse 4, Revelation 18 and 4, before you continue on. The book of Revelation say 18 and 4, I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her, my people. And coming out of, and that's when we repented. And that's when we came out of these wicked holidays. Thanks stealing, Christmas, some retarded Easter with bunny rabbits laying eggs, man. Foolishness, man. Because when you read the scriptures, the Jews celebrated Passover. Okay, Halloween. We came out of those things. That's what the most I say in the Kermit from my so people. So how much do you think Kramer is? But the majority of our people ain't gonna come out of America. They mind is trapped here. They haven't figured out the matrix yet. So therefore they gonna go down, man. Read on. Huh. It says, that ye be not partakers of her sins, Come and on. that ye receive not of her plague. And what's the plague? So you see some of it, Ebola. Economy gonna fall, famine, race riots, martial law. Shit. All the natural disasters. That's a part of it. That's the place that's coming in. The scripture says America has been like a, a, a golden cup in the Lord's hand. The most I've been playing with a Babylon for a long time. See, the Heavenly Father is a master chess player. And he likes to build people up. So he builds up the white man's pride only to bring him down. No, he, uh, he pumped up his chest, man. That's the same thing he did to the ancient Egyptians and the ancient Babylonians. And King Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. King Nebuchadnezzar finally realized that. That's why the scripture says that the most high ruler for the kingdom of men. And he set up whomsoever he will. The white man was set up, man. That's it. He was set up just to fall. That was it, man. We know that and we understand that. We believe that. So the only power in the universe is supposed to be fed to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Because everything else does not matter, man. That's what you guys don't understand, man. That you fell out. Everything else in this society does not matter, man. If that money don't matter, these women don't matter, man. Okay? Trying to please everybody don't matter. Get Galatians 1 and 9. How could you learn this knowledge and go back in the world? The world ain't going to set you. Come on, man. Because you know too much. And you know the most high ain't going to accept you, man. Because you fell out. 
The book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 9. Now you do have some men. We'll probably get that after we get The book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 9. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach another gospel unto you, then... That verse 9? Read on. It says, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For I do not persuade men, or the Most High, or do I seek to please men? That's what Paul said. Do I seek to please men? Do we seek to please men? Are we out here for the people? Huh? Or the, what they call in a conscious community? Are we out here for the community? We don't give a two shits about the so-called black community, man. We are here for the elect. We are here to gather Yahweh's army as men that haven't woken up yet. Whether it be physically or whether it's spiritually online. Because people come across their videos online, that's another tool that the Lord set up. And they wake up from that. And they're inspired by that and they go out there and teach. See, this thing is not no physical thing. Because number one, the men that taught us, we're not physically in their camp. The men that we physically learn from, we're not physically in their camp. We picked up the torch and we ran with it. Now we're teachers. Now we're teachers, man. It's the same thing in the scripture, like you said, Yahweh Shai had about seven sudden men to go here, there, there, and that's what we're doing. Exactly, man. This is our lot, man. Until the Lord decides somewhere else you know, we're supposed to be at. But for the time period, this yeah. is our lot, man. It's a tough lot over here, man. You see what I'm saying? So if we try to yeah, move one time, time most side send us right back here, man. Yep, you shut it down. Yes. Shut it down, man. The day is going to come where we're going to be surrounded by people. You see what I'm saying? 